Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Germany. Thank you, all of you who came from outside Germany. Thank you. I guess they really love you, and I really love you as well. Thank you. And you know that you're an icon for so many people and such a big inspiration. You are, for me, you're the figure of resilience. Brazilians. <laughs> Not Brazilians, resilient, the strength. Or resilience. The strength of character. Thank you. Because you play those amazing heroes, but you are the hero. You are on the hero journey showing us how to go and stand up from the ashes like the phoenix and fucking fight. Pardon my French, sorry kids. But yeah, this is what you are for me. Sorry if I'm a little bit cheesy and a little bit fun girly here. No. But it's really, really, really nice to have you here. So yeah. Guys, it's fucking Jean-Claude Van Damme! <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I'm talking about heroes. We have in this room a lot of father and mothers. And I guess your children... I mean, for your children, you are all become, you are become, uh, no, you are big heroes. Yes. So we're all heroes in that world, huh? And uh, sorry about my uh, English, sometimes I make mistakes. And you just read the subtitles later, right? You just put it on the, you know, there's a screen behind you, so we're just oh, gonna great. put the subtitles there. No, you're perfect, your, your English is more than perfect. Thank you. So I, Love you. I invited our audience that if they have something to say to you, there is a microphone that they can line up to and they can go and uh, say it to the microphone and say it to Jean-Claude or ask him a question. So please guys, don't be shy. I don't think he will fight you today. I, I don't think. No. <laughs> We're not in the fighting mode. No fighting. Not today. Lots of running. Uh, lots of running, yeah. Away. Yeah. Um, you have an amazing fan base, and do you remember any encounter with your fan that you like really cherish? Something that was very important to you? One fan or a few fans that stayed in your memory and that you think about it from time to time? In fact, all the time I was in uh, Mexico City, <laughs> and it was a guy in front of me who was very physically well built. And uh, people ask questions and that guy was always trying to ask his own question. I go, okay, it's your turn. Healthy, you can take your time and everything. And um, it's crazy. He wanted to kill himself. He was like a ex kind of, uh, yeah, gangster. And uh, he was having some uh, substance on the coffee table in front of him, he was completely out of it. And uh, Bloodsport started to play. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was like 25, 24 years old, right? And you look at the movie, I'm sure he took some more substance, but he put the gun on the side, he look at the film, and he go, I'm going to train. And he put all that shit on the side and everything else he put on the side and he did go to the gym and he became this guy in the front who was like uh, built like uh, a, a pollen and it was it really brought a lot of uh, feeling into my heart and you know people who do art, martial arts and it's one of the best discipline um, for children and also for adults. Yeah, because it's not only mastering your body, it's mastering your mind. Because you need to give your mind something to do with your body. I think martial arts are, martial arts are great. I just started training kickboxing. I'm terrible at it. But it's so much fun to kick people. <laughs> Correct. But you're right about the uh, movement. What's the most important? It's like the Eiffel Tower. You need a good basement, a good... Uh, a good balance. I mean, I felt tired to be able not to fall down, but you know, you, have, you need to know your movement and, and the balance between your body, front, back, middle, and only when you have the steps that you can start the kicking. But before the kicking, if you want to be specific on the <laughs> kicking, you have to learn how to lift your knees, oh. which is not so easy, but people, they, they, they use the speed 
to accelerate and to mask the mistakes. So it's good to do slow motion kick. I do a lot of slow motion kick, and that gives you lots of power in your buttocks. Legs, and then you have speed, dexterity, flexibility. And, and then you can look power. Brazilian. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll give a chance to our lovely audience to ask some questions. So um, I don't know if you can see. Can you wave? So that those are our uh, people that will ask you questions. So fire up. Oh, there's a light. Hello. A session de cool. Nice to meet you. Hello, Jean Claude. <laughs> nice to meet you too. What is your um, name? My name is Kai. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi, John Claude. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Um, I have one thing to say and one question. The one thing to say, you will. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I choose the, I choose the language. Uh, fucking way to meet ya. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, can you please say my beautiful girlfriend hello? Yes, what's her name? Because you have Be many girlfriends. Beat right? Beate. Beatrice. Beatrice. Hi Beatrice, how are you? Yes. Oh. Beatrice, where are you? Hi Beatrice. <laughs> Give me a fist. Here she comes. It's too high for a kid, but enough for a fist. <laughs> I got this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so Great. much. Okay. Uh, and I wish all us a good day. Thank you, Jean Claude. My pleasure. Next question, please. Yeah, hello, Jean Claude. Um, at first, I want to say you are really the action hero of my childhood, and it's a really pleasure to meet you. And my question to you is, um, you are not only known for fighting in your movies, but also for animal rights, what I think is a great thing. Uh, what inspired you to do this? I think we all have um, in our hearts a, a place for an animal, especially I mean, in Germany I was um, at the hotel, I saw lots of, uh, it was a friendly hotel for dogs and all the dogs were running around, but you now we talk about dogs, but species are going away and um, they are part of us and uh, parts of our children, but I can go on and on and on. It's many things uh, happening at the right, at the same time, in terms of many things with uh, the uh, fauna, environment, so it's a long debate, but yes, I love animals and I'm trying my best to help them. You too, I'm sure. One of you, I'm sure they have some adopted dogs, cats, or helping animals. And I really thank you for that, for your help towards the animals. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Next question, please. My name is Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm sorry, my English, I was in this uh, really good. I have one question, and if it is possible, I'm in favor. My father is really a fan of you when it is in Chile. Can you send greetings for my father in Chile, if it's possible? Absolutely. First of all, your, your father has great taste. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what is the name of your father? My father's name is Danny. Danny, and you have a camera there? Yes, he does. Okay, so I'm going to say hello to Danny. Hi, Danny, how are you? This is Jean Claude Van Damme. I'm just saying, Jeremy. Woohoo! Jeremy. It's okay. I'm not going to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love the great. My question, my question is: I know you have directed two films, The Quest on Friendship. How you feel direct a film on how to plan in the future to direct new films? On The Quest and on uh, Friendship, I was also acting in the film. Don't do, don't do this anymore. It's better to stay outside the uh, 
whole package, I mean, and really pay attention to the actors, the lighting, set designing, clothing, all that stuff. So it's difficult, and also my ego <laughs> were a little in it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with age, you start to understand that you need a team to be successful. So, if you write a good concept, I'm not a script writer. I'm good with concept. I'm a fountain of idea, of concept. That's easy, but then you need a writer who's going to take your concept and put it into script, day, night, shoot, inside, outside location, dialogue and everything. Then you present the script, then you read the script. Me, the producer, and many people, we make our changes. You go back home, or in a hotel, or in his car, or whatever. And then he start to do the, re the uh, sorry, the rewrite. And then we all approve, and we start shooting. So the process of the, the, process of the movie is not easy, because first is the script. When we all agree, we have location. We have to go on location. Take about two, three, four months, a good pre-production. So when you start shooting, you don't lose time. You know where the location is, the lighting, the angle of the camera. Because pre-production, it's a couple of days, a couple of people only. So it's like a gorilla production. It's cheaper on my type of movies, independent movies. And then you have to go production, you bring the full team, and then it start to work, yeah. So it's a long process. Nine months to make a baby, nine months to make a movie. Well, it's a little bit shorter to make a baby, no? <laughs> would you do, would you, would you uh, direct the movie again? It's possible, but maybe when I'll be like around 51, 52. <laughs> Next question, please. I mean, I'm 60, okay, but I'm 20 years old. With my sunshine. <laughs> Hello, hello, Mr. Fernand. My name is Martin, and it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Martin. Thank you that you're. Thank you that you are here. Um, I have some some questions. Um, of all the movies you have made, um, which is your favorite one? Yeah. Well, it's difficult. Um, so many different movies. I made about 100 type of movies, so I different. It's it's hard for me. The first few ones I was watching on the screen, how the people react, it's first, it's nice. It's like your first car, right? No matter the size, the brand, it's your first car, you feel like you protect the roof, you know, some heating system, the radio, and you feel like this is my house, right? Same with the movie, your first movie, you pay attention to everything, the audience. If they go, woo, you go, oh, they don't like it, you start to hide in the theater, no, they like it because the U.S. audience, when they, they like something, they go, yeah, woo, oh, you watch, it's not bad, you know. And then slowly, uh, my movies became bigger, and to be honest with you, when I watch, when I make a film, I go in the editing room to see how that goes. I go to the post-production room for the voice and all that stuff, changing the voice and everything in the place. And then I do all that stuff, and then I don't see the movie anymore. And I shoot, but I don't see my last 20 movies. I didn't see them finished. And one day I'm, I'm with, with with Mickey Rock, and I go, "Hey Mickey, you watch your movies?" Same question. He said, "No." I go, "It's full of it, right?" That's bullshit. Sorry, the uh, BS uh, words for the kids. And then uh, he told me, "No, I don't watch my movies anymore." No, I understood why. Because he's good. He did his job. And if something goes wrong, it's not the angle you saw on camera because an actor has a good memory of his angle. And he know that it looked great and the expression was great from that angle. And maybe that angle was more weak because I put myself smaller, not as strong as here. I wanted that angle. You're gonna watch the movie, where's that angle? And that angle, and that angle, so it's gonna be a nightmare. So it's better not to see because everybody has a different type of editing, cutting, let the director choose his own cut, and you have to respect the team. Yeah. And it's too late when you watch the movie, it's too late to change it. It's already done. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Yes. I, I would like to say um, the, the movie No Retreat, No Surrender is, is one of my favorite uh, ones. The fight scenes you have. 
Yeah. You have tits and so <laughs> they look so real. We are <laughs> I was like, was my first movie, I, I, let me make a face of it. I took so stupid. I was in the ring and the guy called me, I was a bad guy, but I didn't know how to act yet. But the sincerity, you know when you're sincere, you don't know how to act when, when you, you come home and your father and your mother, they say to you, did you have a good uh, school record? You okay? Oh yes, that I was perfect. Can I go to, you know? So we have this lying process inside us or the faking process. So in, in No Retreat, No Surrender, maybe if you remember, it was that type of guard, I hate it, hold on. <laughs> now I will go this time. I call for that. Short, short. Okay. Um, which is your favorite kick in Drum Tone Fun now? Many. <laughs> again and again, because if you can lift your knee, first of all, the fighter is like, he's got the knee in front of him. So he doesn't know if you have, you have to be flexible and also be able to keep your leg up there. So you need to train this, right? But if you put your knee in front of him, it can go right, left, inside, it's kind of confused. But if you put a kick on the direction where the kick will come, it's like if I do a wide hook, he's gonna, you know I'm coming with a hook, but some are very short. And same with the kick, I like to kick inside the guard, not outside the guard because you can come like this and like this. As good as the UFC guys are so good with wrestling, boxing and cardio, still today in the UFC I don't see one guy who has a good kick. But they'll come soon because it's new for them. It's like boxing, you eat with your hands, you cut your meat with your hands, you do everything with your hands. Now if you can start to paint with your feet and stuff like that, you'll have the same delicacy and the power, dexterity sorry, and the power of a fist. But taking your legs, to train your legs, it takes about 10 to 15 years non-stop. Cannot come like that. It takes lots of time like ballet. Take time, take time. You have to be patient and you have to be specific in one thing you want to do in life. Because he's a karate guy or he's a mechanic or he's a dentist. But if you focus your life into one pipeline, which is being a dentist, you will success everything you do in life, but you have to be only, I believe, one thing, and you have to know also what's good inside you, because in school I was not so good. <laughs> I was good with numbers. I wanted to work young. My father gave me the chance to be able to sell flowers at night, made good money. And one of my friends was 16 and a half, so he was able to drive. I was 13, and I was selling flowers in Belgium because at that time all the restaurants, all the coffee shops were full. I put a short, I make my hair look like this. You know, hi, so you want to buy some flowers? And they go, no, 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 no. I go, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Thank you. Hey, kid, come back. Oh, thank you, sir. So I was playing this game. I was making good dough. And I gave that to my mama. I always wanted to work, 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 work. Why? I don't know. Money is good. Can be generous. Can buy some nice toys. Life is short. People who said to you, I don't like money, they're lying. People <laughs> said to you, I've got too much money, I've got big headaches. They're not lying. <laughs> so we have to find a way in life. What is your need? How much do I eat a day, my children, vacation? And you have to find out a place where you're happy. And if you're happy with so much money and not that much money, it's better. You'll be less busy. 
I've been invited with billionaires, <laughs> great people, fantastic people, and I have those big yachts, right? Yeah, and in the office, and they're on the phone non-stop, and they see the deck of their big boat, <laughs> big boat and they see all the kids playing, the wife, and this, and all the guests, but those guys are working non-stop. Some like that. All I'm saying to you, time don't stop. And I remember in 1986, I was 26 for blood sport. Thank God I can still kick, right? But maybe in three, four years from now, I will be walking like this. Who knows? But time don't stop. So think about your life. What do you want to do? If it take one, two, three, four, five, 20 years, you'll find your way, it will hit you and then go for that specific of what you want to do. And I promise you, you'll become successful unless you have a heart attack, a car hits you, and that's mathematically incorrect, but maybe correct. I don't know. Thank you. This is, this is what I love about you, Jean-Claude. Because we are here just to chat about you, and we want to know you, and you're giving us life advice, and we feel so loved, don't we? Next question, please. Hi, Jean-Claude. I don't know if you remember me, but we say we met us several times. My name is Dino, and we celebrated one time your birthday in Belgium. And one friend of mine in yours is Walid. I should send a lot of regards from Egypt. Thank you so much. And by the way, I have a, I have a lots of friends. I know. I say hello to Walid. I will say it. Hello to you and hello to all of you in the dark shadow. <laughs> Merci, Jean-Claude. It's so nice to see you again. Thank By you, the man. way, how are Chris and Bianca and your children? Are everything good, fine? It's a good question. Uh, my son is in Los Angeles. Uh, Christopher is going to... is working in a film. And it's not easy for the children to follow father's step and they don't want no help. That's not a problem. So they should take advantage of my name. But he's doing well, but he's more into directing and stuff like that. He has his own, his own world of video game and it's, it's a different generation. More um, advanced in that field. But the medium or old generation, they have more and social value. I mean social value, but not from a distance. So this year and the next two, three years we are living in a great intersection. Don't feel bad of what's happening today. But it's bad, right? But we've been fighting since the age of the ice. I ain't gonna go into politics, but we'll be always fighting. And all I'm saying is like we have to keep on moving. And what's the most important to me to be happy, it's to train at least four or five times a day. And you all have to train at least three times a week. Ah, four or five times a week, I'm so sorry. Not like uh, Steven Seagal. I don't take with me on the stage because it's like this. So, I have to chase Steven. so but anyway, you should train about three times a week, all of you. We talk about 20 minutes training. It's not so difficult and, 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 uh, and here is the trick. You can go to any gym you want, but I'm advising you those machines are already pre-designed for you. Because you don't, you don't have yet the muscle you need not to hurt yourself. So let's say you do the ro uh, rowing machine for the back, where you're sitting in the chair. You take, but the problem is, Again and again, we cannot shy, we have a little complex, because we're gonna put the weight at five kilo, <laughs> or 15 pounds or something, five kilo, one kilo is 2.2 pounds. Anyway, five kilo, right? But what I'm asking you is to do the movement very correct. When you sit down, back straight, chin up, it's no weight. But to do 
it correctly, your body's going to start to feel, ah, I straight my leg. Here, one, two, and slowly you go to the gym, you try five kilo, but two days later you do again five kilo. And again five kilo, but you get the movement. You get the move right, like boxing, you know, it's like left and come back, you know, left and come back. It goes slowly first. And then slowly by slowly at the gym, your mind will switch and your body will take over and the muscle will say, can I do 10 kilos? And then all those muscles, you know, to be straight are now built for the 10 kilos. And that's how you get, not too big, not too big, but a torsion type of body. Yeah. Right or Oh, not now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your question. And Thank you so much, Jean-Claude. My, my pleasure. Guys, we have time for two more questions, so make it good. This is, you know, no pressure. <laughs> Hello, Van Damme. I'm uh, Michael from Denmark. I have met uh, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold, but you're still my number first one hero. Um, my question is, um, from your side, why did you not finish the Predator movie? And did they use the scene of you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the uh, outfit of uh, the uh, Predator was not really fitting me well. Uh, my feet were in the calves of the animal, so I was on some sorts of... Uh, Stilts? Yeah, yeah. And then my hands were in the forearms, and, and I did have rings on each finger, so when I moved the rings, the finger of the monster was moving, but my, my hands were here. It was a very complicated outfit. And I told John, the producer, I don't mention his family name, John, I said, John, this is very dangerous and came in. If you jump and stuff like that, you can break everything. Because it was made in the studio in Los Angeles. They made the mold. I was all covered in cast. I don't like to be stuck in an elevator. <laughs> but it was my first movie. So they put a straw, a big straw in my mouth. And they said, don't worry, <laughs> you're gonna be in the dark for 10, 15 minutes, so we're gonna put a yes. kind of a liquid, it become very hard, but then they have to put a bandage. And then they put the cast. I was bo boiling hot, unable to say anything with the straw. My ear, I heard a little something, but I wanted to break this cast, you cannot. I go, JC, JC, a predator, a green card. Hold it, hold it. You've been holding for five years, sleeping in cars, garage, and this and that, because they told me the predator will be half human and half machine. So at least we'll see half of my face, right? When they came on the set, it was a complete monster face, and I go, where's my face? And it's gone to the throat of the animal. I was disappointed, the outfit didn't work. The guy who did the stunt broke his legs with my outfit, and then they canceled for a couple of weeks, and the new outfit came from uh, Stan Winston. Stan Winston, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my idol, Jean Claude Van Damme. I born with your movies, all uh, change, GNK. Uh, your father is a long time friend on Facebook. Cloud Girls uh, write with me all the time. I send you my CD. I'm very famous in German, and my dream is today is come here, to see you. Uh, I born with you, I have a diary, in my diary is uh, your name in all places, in all castings in Germany. I'm a big famous uh, reality star and uh, this day is uh, my desire to come here, you, the, for me my dream of okay. this day. <laughs> and, uh, dream. and what can I do for your dream? Um, you share it, a picture and uh, hello video for for all my people and friends. Okay, but let's do fast. 
let's go very fast, come. I mean, you have to, you have shared my uh, video with the split. Yeah, not, in the not split right now. Come. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on, jump, close, find down. Jump, close, find down. Jump, close. Now we know why he's famous. He's yeah. not afraid to talk. He's open. He's cool. That's why he's successful. Yeah. I love you, bro. We love you too. <laughs> Jean Claude, any parting words? Because unfortunately our time on stage is finishing, but maybe you would like to say something to our lovely audience. What can I say to you? You talk so much to me. <laughs> um, you know, it's easy to talk about myself. If you got so much stuff going on or not, I don't know your life. I know that you've been supporting me for so many years. I would not be here today without you. Um, you also have taste, like his father. <laughs> and uh, we're all here to have a lot of fun. We're going to sign some pictures. Uh, I wish I can have a multiplication of myself, lots of twins, um, so I can be with you all the time. Hi, lady. Hi, boss. And uh, yes, any more questions you want to ask me? I have, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, okay. Because it's Jean Claude. One more, okay? But we're really out of time. One more. I have a question right now. Yes. I like the movie Learner here. I'm here, right? Right here? Yes, sir. Uh, I like the movie Leon Nerd. Leon Le 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 You know what I mean? No. Leon. Leon. The movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I'm Sergei. I want to make it short. Can I give you a handshake? Yes. And greetings to my family and my brother. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. This is the old time that we have for Jean Claude on the stage. Okay. Okay. Hi, all you guys. Okay. Thank you. Alright, guys. I need all.